welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Uh, we're going to create window frames. Um, and by doing that, we're using the window generator plugin. It's not installed by default, so you have to download it. And you can find the download link below this video. Um, if you download the plugin, you go to the user performance add-on and you install it. And then it's there and you apply it. And if you go to the add mesh window, you get something like this. And that is all we need. Uh, if we go to this bar, you can see all the settings and we can work with that. So what is all this? Well, it's pretty easy. So it's exactly what it is. If we change it, something changed, <laughs> not that hard. Uh, if we look to the image, we got one there and one in the upper. So we have to change this to one in this uh, get data value of two. This still, we won't need it. We make uh, a still by ourselves, so remove it. Um, yeah, you can experiment with cool ornaments. They are pretty nice for modern buildings, but we use flat and give this a value of 120. So it's a bit thicker. And of course, if you don't like these settings, uh, you can make that smaller so you can see the riser is going to get thicker or thinner also for the inner frame but i keep that all by default because i think i'm happy with it so if i go to the edit mode and go back we lose the settings that's okay now we're changing to the material and we have three materials uh, the pvc plastic and gloss um, and because i already loaded in and uh, they uh, have some values uh, but pvc i normally you have a total white you so you have to enable use nodes and then you give that a value that looks like a gray very easy plastic is totally black but black is not really a nice color so i made that a bit uh yeah less dark gray dark and gloss is the one what is very important if we zoom in you can discover there are one two types of gloss in the in the window and that's the same for that one and if we just hit you can set up some skylight 0.6 so we can see adding a sun lamp with a value of 4 so you have to enable some light settings if i hit render this is what happened we have some bluish colored window frame and we don't want that so if we select it and go to material we make that white uh, but this is a diffuse one so normally you think we make that gloss so if i hit render you see this and you think yeah well we are done but i can recommend this is not really something you want in your scene because when it is rendering you get all this noise and that looks horrible in the end and if we put this here, or we're gonna put it, so I'm gonna show you. If you thought architectural modeling was so easy because we have easy shapes, you're wrong, because sometimes it's a bit frustrating. Um, we have to put that into the building. And you can do that by just popping it out. I like it to put it a bit to the inside, so creating some depth. So what I told you about the noise, if I hit render, you get something like this. It's a very dark looking uh, window and we see bricks. Um, if we want to make a nice render, that's not really good. So I thought to solve that by doing the next trick. And the first one is I removed the back plate of the gloss and we have to do that the same for this one so there should be one there and I'm removing that and it's it's white but if we hit render it's still very nah, not really looking good um, then I thought we have to put something in the back so I used very random curtains and you can make that so cool as you want so make putting a plant behind it or whatever. I just used a very simple curtain looking 
texture what I'm gonna apply on this plane and make that so it's covering the window and you project from view go to new and I have a curtain image but yeah as I said if you have a nice looking curtain use that use some variation that's always better so UV scale that a bit so something like this and we go back and we put this one exactly behind the gloss so now it's behind it uh, use shift to have more control and if we had render we have something like this and i'm going to explain what you see so now it's rendering from the yeah from the viewport uh, we see the curtain behind the gloss we still have a bit of noise and there is some blue skylight from the uh, world settings it is okay to have something like this because we have reflection from everything around it if you're using a, a, a world prop or HDR image you even have some reflection in the window but I always discover the window is a bit dark so I will keep it like this now but in the end I will change the settings from gloss to something else to show you why because now it looks like okay believable but it's not really like that uh, it's very easy so oops I'm selecting this shift D and stretching this a bit that's no problem I'm saying for this one you can stretch it and what you can do is go back to the UV image editor and stretch it something like this so you don't have stretch curtains or it doesn't look really good uh, and for that window just copy it and we have two large windows I think so yeah shift D mm, and that looks okay and this is a tricky part now we have to shift D this one to the top um, and we're selecting this side and make that something like this uh, do we have curtains Did, didn't I copy that hmm that's strange if I hit render no we do not have oh, also there mm, mistake for me wow well, we have to copy that where are you come on come on because <laughs> I put them right there it's very hard to find so that's no problem at all and same for this one try to find it there it is shift D and shift D for that one we have to check if this missing or oh not it's there so we don't need it Wow uh, remove it so shift D and yeah because we have different sized windows we have to change this a lot but because we don't have textures that it won't really having an effect on it make that a bit smaller and one more and one over there and one over there so I think we're almost there I think we just have to copy this one and uh, yeah <laughs> there you go shift D uh, right uh, for the smart people we have something there so I have to rotate it uh, something like 90% look we have it almost something like this that's ah, okay no big deal so we go to the side is this exactly yeah and we put it right there and a little bit like this uh, yeah that's no problem 
we can keep these settings. All right, and we skip the door. We're not there yet. Uh, and save the file. If we hit render, things look like this. All right. Uh, this is a simple way creating windows in a house. And if we zoom in a little bit, um, yeah, you can see it looks. Uh, you can see these nice shadows in the in the window frame. That's because we make that a bit darker. If you use the white settings, it's really having shiny effects that doesn't look good. So um, yes, this is it. Uh, in the next part, we're going to create the roof um, and some other small parts of the roof. Yes, roof tiles and a roof thing what uh, we need <laughs> anyway uh, see you in the next tutorial